Now in this uh, question number 6 as it uh, reads a balloon with the mass m is descending down with an acceleration a where acceleration a is given to be less than acceleration due to gravity. Now how much mass uh, should be removed from it so that it starts moving up with an acceleration a. Now you see in this question it has been assumed that force of buoyancy is also acting otherwise it is not possible for the balloon to start going up. So in the beginning its weight is dominant so I am writing mg minus b this is equal to ma this has been given to you this is the first equation you understand force of buoyancy b I have assumed from my side but in the second case the force of buoyancy becomes dominant some of the masses let us suppose the mass x has been removed so now the new equation form will be something like this the new mass is m minus x so force of buoyancy minus this weight lesser weight now is equal to mass into acceleration a upwards that has been given to you and you have to solve this thing for x you have to solve this thing for x the options are something like this if you solve this thing you happen to get x is equal to 2 ma upon g plus a this will be solution of that and if you match with the answer you find that the first option is the correct option for this particular question. So now let us discuss the next question that is question number 7. Now in this uh, question number 7 as it reads a body of mass 4m is lying in xy plane at rest it suddenly explodes into three pieces the moment explosion is there that means you have to think in terms of linear momentum balance two pieces each of mass m move perpendicular to each other with equal speeds v it has been given to you that two masses are moving perpendicular now naturally the speed of third mass is to be calculated and then the total kinetic energy generated due to explosion is to be calculated in this question. The options given to you are as follows. Now see they are giving to you a fact that a mass m is moving with the speed v and another mass m is moving perpendicular to this. So you see total momentum of the system is mv root 2 in this particular direction. Now the third mass obviously it will be 2m because the total mass given to you was 4m. So this 2m I am claiming must have been moving with the speed v by root 2. Why v by root 2? Because then only you can balance the total momentum equal to 0 because initially it was at rest. So final momentum will also be 0. Now you have to calculate the kinetic energy of these three and that will be the energy generated in the explosion because initially they were at rest. So no energy was there. So final energy is the energy of explosion. So the energy of this mass I am writing this is half mv square energy of the second mass will also be half mv square and the energy of the third mass that will be half into mass is 2m and velocity is v by root 2 that you have calculated in this in total you will be getting this to be equal to 3 by 2 mv square so this is the answer to this particular question now the most appropriate option for this will be the second one and that explains the question number 7 now let us discuss next question that is question number 8. Now in this uh, question 8 it reads as the oscillation of a body on a smooth horizontal surface is represented by the equation x is equal to a cos omega t. This is a equation of simple harmonic motion instead of sign they have given you cos where x is displacement at time t and omega is frequency of oscillation. Now they are demanding which of the following graphs shows correctly the variation of a here means acceleration with time t. Now see if you differentiate x twice then you get acceleration. If you differentiate cos once it will be minus sign and again then that will be minus cos. Minus cos means the graph of minus cos will be our answer. You understand? So only answer which is true for minus cos this is this graph you see had it been cos it is starts from top like this but if it is minus cos it is starting from the lower end and just the inverse of cos graph that should be the answer so the correct answer is 3 for this acceleration time that is the explanation to this question now let us discuss the next question.